That's right, guess what time of year it is? Spring, that means gear loadout, what I'm carrying right now. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. That's right, we're gonna be showing you my gear loadout. I put this kit together not too long ago for the spring season, and as you know, if you follow my channel, just about every season I love to change up my gear to try out some new stuff, see if I'm missing anything, make sure my skills are good and sharp, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go through my gear loadout right now with everybody. So starting with the, the kit itself, right? I'm, I'm assuming that me as a person, I'm dressed appropriately and I have my my side knife on okay so my hip knife is on maybe carrying an axe along with me also depending on what I'm gonna be doing everything else though for me is inside my kit that I'm planning to utilize for this season so starting with the backpack this is our yucca backpack that we make at the shop the coal cracker one a um, little bit this was one of the first prototypes so we don't have the leather straps on the outside because we have snaps here these are not as nice as the leather strapping that come on the ones that you would purchase but but um, that's what I have everything in is this pack, okay? On the side of the pack, I have a backup knife. This is our new dirt digger knife. Well, actually, this is the original. If you go read the description about our dirt diggers, um, this is the original dirt digger knife from the cabin. It now migrated to my kit. So I have that on the side of my pack where it is now permanently gonna be until further notice. Now, let's bust right on into the inside. All right, in our main front flap compartment, things that I want to be able to get to quickly, okay? So in no particular order, I do have a notebook in here, so if I want to write any notes or anything as I'm out, I'm good to go with that. And then the rest of this is all fire making equipment. You saw this case that we made in a past video, so this has my flint and steel striker inside, so I got that along. And then in my fire kit itself, I have a tin that I can make char with. I also have, which just got thrown out at all of you, I have a lighter, I have a ferrocerium rod, I have a candle, beeswax candle, and then I have some of the fire discs that we showed in a past video that we made. So I have all that for my fire starting. All right, so busting into the backpack compartment now. Again, no particular order. First thing, we got my water bottle so I can carry my water or boil and disinfect my water if needed. I have a cup in there. And then I also have a plate. Then I have a pouch that is what I consider my utility style pouch. So I have a few different things in here. I have that hook knife that we were just using in a past video because I'm planning on doing some more carving. I have my compass, my headlamp, small pair of pliers, spork, Carpenter's pencil, twist it all. And then I have a variety of needles, S needles, straight needles, crafting needles, and some twine here that I can sew with in case I need to make any repairs. Okay, now I also have a spare haversack in here because again, I said this kit was all inclusive to itself. So when I get to camp and I set everything up, if I don't wanna carry my backpack around, I could just open up my haversack, throw it on and take it along with me, okay? So keep my haversack in there. If you don't know what a haversack is, it's just a big over the shoulder style bag. Fit everything inside, okay? Now, from there, I have, which is a little, a little, it's not different because I've always carried all kinds of ropes and twines, but what I did was I used one of our tool roll bags, okay? And I have all of my ridge lines, my utility line, this is a new type of rope I've been playing with, and some bank lines. So it's all in here for everything. So if I need any of it, it's all nice rolled up and organize it, I can see it, right? So it's in there, and of course, with ridge lines goes your tarp. So I have an eight by eight oil cloth tarp. Um, 
I don't have any ground mat with me, I'll tell you that, because somebody's gonna ask, what's your ground mat? I don't have any with me this time of the year. Um, if it's wet, I'm gonna throw something a little bit heavier duty, like a plastic sheet or um, a gum blanket or something in. But if it's dry out, which I'm planning to camp mostly dry nights, no unexpected trips coming up, um, I'll just sleep on the leaves. So I have my tarp that I use, and then you can't, you can't leave home without your wool blanket. So I got my wool blanket stuck in there also. So wool blanket and tarp, campfire out front, it's gonna be nice. So outside of this, of course, I'd have to carry food into the field, but again, I'm not planning any long trips. This would be like an overnight or a two day type bag, or for me, I'm going out to shoot YouTube videos. I have just about everything I'm gonna need to get the job done in all them scenarios, minus my food, minus anything if it's really, really wet. And as far as first aid or clothing, because I always get asked this, generally whatever I wear is what I keep on the whole trip. Maybe I'll throw an extra pair of socks in, maybe I won't. Um, definitely in the summer, extra socks. But right now it's warm, but it's not that bad so I can get away with a pair of socks for two days And then finally first aid I get asked all the time. Why don't I have a first aid kit? So if I carry anything for first aid, it is generally just a tourniquet um, band-aids aspirin um, diarrhea medicine stuff like that I just sort of deal with it would deal with it till I get out of the woods so but to each their own you want to throw a first aid kit in have at it so there you go folks that's my spring loadout simple easy it's effective I get the job done with it we have everything covered that I need from my headlamp all the way down to our little cooking to sleeping to fire to uh, all my crafting stuff so easy one this time hope you enjoyed it if you're interested in some of this gear we do have it on our website which you can check out Cold Cracker Bushcraft com some of it I have no idea where it came from because I just gathered so much stuff over the years um, I get to go through and just like pick and load bags out it's awesome so all right I hope you enjoyed this video as always check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until next video stay in the woods I can't, I can't reach the camera